everyone and welcome back to another video on Imperial SMP. Guys, we have been pranked too many times by EC, so I've decided that today we are going to retaliate. Not only did he leave us this giant Teletubby head, but if we go back over to the castle, sadly I didn't manage to film this because I was having some tech issues, but somebody, I'm thinking EC, filled this entire area with endermites. So we're gonna try and get him back, mostly for the head prank. I've got all this pink wool that I've been collecting. And that's not even all, there's this as well. And we still have to get more because I want to cover his entire base with a giant version of my head. His base isn't too ginormous, it's pretty big but it should be doable. So right now we're heading off to the mesa because we need to buy a last lot of wool. We also need to collect some terracotta for my skin and eyes. So let's go do that. And here we are. I've already bought out all of the pink but I can buy other colours and re-dye it. Um, I might just get some of the cyan. Nine diamonds, and now I just need nine stacks of pink dye. But first, we'll go collect some terracotta. Oh, there's white here. I want the white. I'm not very good at planning, so I don't know how much I'll need. Remember that beacon I bought and it's just sitting in a chest? Yeah, that would have been helpful for this. Now that we have over 20 stacks of terracotta, the next supply that we're going to be needing is concrete. So I am trying to find the desert portal right now, but I think I'm a little bit lost. Oh, it's over here. Follow the sand. Wait, savannah biome. I don't think I've been through this portal. Let's give it a go. Huh. Well, it is a savannah biome. Oh, there's horses here. Hello? Spotty horse. Oh, the horse girl club would love this. Just gonna screenshot those cords. And we're getting distracted, so let's find a desert. Oh, here we go. Wee! Oh, oh! Oh my gosh, I killed a rabbit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I guess my shovel is just too powerful. Can I do it again? Come here. Okay, I'm gonna stop being evil now and stop making such a mess. And there should be enough sand, so let's go find that portal. Here we go, home time. We'll need some black concrete powder. And lastly, we want a bit of brown for my eye color. Now we can go over here and do the fun part. We have all of the supplies that we should need to build a giant head around EC's base. Unfortunately, we're missing the shulker boxes to actually get all the supplies there. We may not have enough yet, but I thought we could just do a quick trip to the end and we'll see if we can raid an end city. Hopefully this won't take too long. Of course, the other option would just be doing multiple trips back and forth to EC's base, but I'd rather not do that. So let's go to the end. Well, here we are. Now we just need to find a city. Oh, here we go. It's got a ship too. Not that we're here for Elytra, but you know, there's shulkers too. Oh, and a dragon head. I'm gonna get the head. It looks like this one hasn't been raided. Ah, uh, come on. Ah. Uh, oh, don't die. Dragon head. All right, let's get some shulkers. Ah, nope. Yay! And then it's just that one down there that I can see. Oh wait, there's two. Woo! Slow falling is perfect for this. And that one. And let's get out of here and check what we've actually got. Oh, we're quite high up. And suddenly slow falling is annoying because I can't get to the bottom. Wow, this is so slow. <laughs> okay, so if we pop our ender chest down, we got six diamonds, some random tools, 16 shulker shells. That's enough for, what is maths, eight shulker boxes. And look, a spare elytra. I didn't really need that, but I guess it's good to have. Perfect. And that literally only took like five or 10 minutes to get enough for eight shulker boxes and a spare elytra. I feel like that was pretty lucky. We have arrived at EC's base. This is it. And I have all of our shulker boxes ready to prank him. We have terracotta, wool, more wool, and some concrete. So while he's offline, let's do this. Guys, 
guys, that head was absolutely massive. Honestly, I didn't realize quite how big it was going to be or quite how long it was going to take to make. I completely ran out of wheels, so I actually had to leave the back panel missing, but I'm also kind of okay with that because I started to feel bad. It's going to take EC so much time to clean that up if he doesn't want it, which honestly, I can't picture him wanting to live inside my head. But since I did start feeling pretty bad, I decided to leave him a sign to say that I can help deconstruct it if he wants. Which is kind of weird, maybe not in the spirit of a prank, but oh well. Anyway, I guess we'll soon find out if that ends the prank war with EC or if I've just fueled the fire. But for now, I want to grab some diamonds and go over to the shops. And we're going to have a little bit of a look around because I hear that there's been quite a lot done to the shops and I haven't actually seen it yet. So let's head over. Actually, if we start over here, this is all new. So this is Metricate's train track. And this thing goes all the way to his base. It's very close to my base. You can see the Teletubby and the castle. And Infinite Drift is living just over there. So our horse pathway goes right through here. We haven't finished it yet, but it goes through here and then her base is somewhere. But then if we hop back up here and travel along, it should take us straight to the shops. And I'm already seeing new things. What is that tower? What is this? It looks like a big firework. Ooh. Wings. Ooh, we'll have to go in there even though we have wings. But let's take a look at this. Wow, there's a few new things happening here. Okay, uh, maybe I'll start over here by the portal. We'll have a little nap and then do some shopping. First of all, this map is catching my eye. Hello. Hello, sir. Are you okay? He's good, he's just doing some shopping. Anyway, look at this map. This is a lot of the server. I imagine they've got where basically everybody lives. Oh look, that's a mushroom island, Blockdown and Frog. And then we are right here at the shops and we live slightly to the right, so just in the spot here. I wonder if he sells copies of this map. Let's have a, oh, that answers my question. Is this a door? Welcome to the map store. The full price is 25 diamonds. So with that you get a map and you get item frames and a banner. Well, I already know that I want that, but we'll do it another day. Because first we're going to have to build somewhere to put it. For now, let's head over here because this shop looks very different. Wow, this is actually such a cool build. Oh, the TNT is freaking me out. I feel like I'm accidentally going to click. Fireworks a diamond per stack. Not bad. Well, I'll be back there in future as well. Next, we can go over to this really bright looking shop. Is that DC or OC? Welcome to Drip Check. Already played head left, but it's closed. It looks like a mini game though. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Well, let's go down here and check out the big tower that we saw on the way in. Ooh, it has a pretty bridge leading over. Wait, what's this? Drift's Deep Slate Depot. Ooh, this is going to be popular with some people for sure. Cobble Deep Slate, one stack is two diamonds. One diamond assembly required. Oh, it's like a make your own chair situation. And more items coming soon. Ooh, we haven't really used Deep Slate yet, but it is a cool block. Let's go see what this tower business is all about. Read me. Hello, welcome to Super McGreg's Enchanted Books. All books cost one diamond. Ooh, this is exciting. We haven't had an Enchanted Books shop yet on the server, so there are a few things I'm missing. Let's see. Unbreaking Silk Touch, Efficiency Fortune Mending. Uh, I could do with better unbreaking on my pants and my sword. So we'll buy two of these and we'll get one efficiency book. Then let's see what's over here. Um, I might not need any of those and... Oh, looting. I don't have any looting. Oh, and I guess I'm not about to. It's fine. What I will get is a flame book. Perfect. The shop is one of my new favorites. Oh, it's dark. And the last thing that I want to check out over here is my flower shop. I haven't really mentioned this, but we've been making a lot of sales. Oh, hello. Where are you? Oh, hello. Oh, a bow. So I've been restocking this regularly, but let's see if we have any more sales. No flowers, although I did just take a couple of diamonds out. And then for dyes... Oh wow, 10 diamonds. This business is booming. I have been thinking a lot of the other shops around that have been popping up are very big. And as much as I love our cute little flower pot, I did make it early game when I didn't have many resources. But now, however, I would say this shop is making bank and it deserves an upgrade. Maybe something that would just help it stand out a little bit more with all the shops around it. If we look at where it's wedged in, there's not a lot of space to go out in either direction. We're kind of squished between over here and and the log shop over here. But what we do have 
is plenty of room up into the sky. So hear me out, I think the flower pot has served us really well, but how about a flower tower? I think that could be a really fun upgrade. So I think we'll set this up as under construction. Under construction, no entry. Perfect, and now we can go back and gather some supplies for an upgrade. the outside is basically done this is how it's looking hello uh <laughs> wait what came and just appeared and gave me a head is that ac over there i guess i'll take it sometimes the server gets really weird anyway i'm pretty happy with the exterior we have here i tried to make it as floral as possible so we have the giant flowers up here as well as the little flowers and just the greenery around and i also covered the ground on the sides with some moss and flowers here but we still need to do the inside it looks like this and it's a little bit dark up here so we can start by adding some candles i made these little windowsills so it should be cute to just have a couple of candles up here then down here I want to mostly add a lot of chests so that we can stock up a little bit more than we have been. And I think if we do a big carpet here then we can hide some lighting under it like that. We'll add a couple of benches in here with a lantern on one and candles on the other. This corner can have a big pot plant and a little one in front of it. Then I think we might add some more shelves for little pot plants. Can we hang these off trapdoors? Oh we can and glow now our upgraded flower shop is complete we have a little bit of off-camera grinding to do i think i'll just do that between videos to get this place fully stocked but for now when you come inside this is how it's looking we have an ender chest so people can access their diamonds and then the shop is split in half so this side is for flowers and this side is for dye at the moment it's all in these two chests but I thought in future we could color code the chests for different dyes and flowers. But I think that's all we have time for today. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. bye.